Yeah, I think we are gonna come back. You know, just just doing all you know, doing all the music that you can, you know, and especially a time like like right now, this is where we're all focused and and sure later on down the road if there's a opportunity, sure. I I I, lo I love those guys and I I think that their their music is amazing and and yeah, I mean, I like to make music with as many people as I can because I'm a whore. <laughs> You're, a musical well, whore. You're a well-dressed whore, though, I gotta say. See what I'm saying? Not cheap. That, that looks good. You know what I mean? Good. <laughs> Just to clear things out, what, what happened with the, the Eagles of Death Metal? They were supposed to tour with you guys. Now there's uh, another band going on tour with you guys. <laughs> That's what happened. You having fun with that, That's Alex? That's what happens. There you go. Royal screwing. No, no, no. Um, harder? What'd you say? Uh... The, the singer Jesse is, is trying to, to get custody of his son, basically. Okay. And so, you know, so that's very sweet. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, you know, it, it leaves the ability for us to tour with them again. It, if they were able to do just a part of it, it sort of, it sort of makes it where we can't do a whole tour together. And I want to dance and party and shake ass, so I want to see the Eagles on the whole tour, you know. A lot of partying on this tour? Why, what do you got? Well, what I got, well, you guys are going out tonight. You'll party be going hats? out tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. Party, pa party favors of, of some sort. Secrets. No. I don't know. Where the are we going out tonight? keeping a secret. Uh, where, where, where are we going? I don't know. You guys were talking where? about secrets. You're, we're going to her house. She's yeah. Having <laughs> you having fun with that? Uh, that you just got to work the shaft. Just Excuse work, me? Just work the shaft. I, 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 I've, ha I've got the shaft before. It's no good. I don't like it. <laughs> You, you, you guys have had some, uh, some changes within your album. Some bands like to change 180 degrees on every album. Some bands like to change within the realm of the sound that they've created for themselves. How important is it for you guys to stay true to the sound that you guys really created for yourselves? Well, I mean, you know, if you get to do this, to me, part of the obligation is that you don't copy anyone else and you don't copy yourself. Um, and then there's moments where you almost, like, tip your hat to your own sound. You know, like there's stuff on this record that reminds me of, of all the other records before, and then that's like a staging point to go do stuff that we've never done before. And um, so I think it's just important. It seems like an obligation to try to be as original as you can, you know, because it's like if if, if someone's really into Nine Inch Nails and they start a band, you don't want it to be Four Inch Nails. <laughs> We got a phone call. Is that call? like the Calgary Stampede out there or something? <laughs> like, we, we got a call from Kurt in Fredericton. He's, he's on the line. Kurt, go ahead. Your question for the Queens. Hey, um, I just uh, wanted to ask you guys off. Firstly, I want to say I really dig your music. Like, when I listen to it, it kind of gives me energy and kind of sends chills up my spine. But Thanks, um, man. What I wanted to ask you is, like, what are the sources of your inspiration um, in the world and what fuels your creative energy, like visual art or anything, like, you know, that you can speak of? Well, well, I mean, I, I really like the, you know, you can find the most amazing stuff in the small things, you know. I mean, uh, you know, I, I've written stuff about, I was just, I was having a very heated discussion with somebody, and I was just staring at the door, and they grabbed the handle and slammed it, and the whole time I was just looking at the doorknob, and then it's something simple like that that's that's real, and that's visual, and that's, you know... God, I wish I was out there, actually. <laughs> well, we're going we're gonna to be going outside. In the meantime, we have an audience question. Go ahead. Your question for the Queens of the Stone Age. Um, hi. I just want to say that you guys are amazing. I've been following you, Josh, in particular, since I was like eight years old. Um, <laughs> but my, God, my, how old does that make me again? <laughs> no. uh, yeah, but the question is, with the new album, was there pressure to just keep it really heavy and groovy for the old fans? Do you make it to try and get you know new fans? Was it just you know pure rock and roll for yourself? No, that's a good question actually because, you know, my longtime friend Nick isn't here, and and so, it's pretty easy to predict what someone would say if they were going to be negative. Like we could come off like Slayer, and someone would be like, "Well, the hard center is gone," you know, the angst-ridden whatever. But I think the challenge is to play stuff that we, even knowing that, to still play songs like "Long Slow Goodbye," anyways. Because um, we play hard as nails if we want to, and then we do stuff that's experimental, like Burn the Witch and all this stuff. And um, 
We do it based on feeling when it's the right time. It's not uh, to say like we couldn't play hard now would be stupid, you know, because all we have to do is turn up and play fast. Um, but what, we, what would be really great is if our 10th record could be our best record and that every record was different, you know. So uh, that, that's the challenge is um, to make sure it's real and to make sure that you don't, you don't listen to outside influence. Queens of the Stone Age and the legendary Mark Lanigan. Guys, thank you so much. You want to take a quick walk out to the window one more time? Let's take a quick walk, shall we? Josh is going to come. You guys want to come? Thank you so much for tuning in. It's been Queens of the Stone Age, live at March. We'll see ya.